G'day fellow YouTubers and tech nerds, Luke here. So today's video is going to be a follow-up to the uh, XSPC uh, D5 Photon Water Pump and Reservoir Combo that I recently did an unboxing for. And this is the finished results. Um, so you'll see there right now at idle, under no load and at stock speeds, I'm um, it's 32 degrees Celsius outside temperatures and I am bouncing, you know, anywhere from the low up to the up to the mid 30s um, which is very impressive let me swap hands here which is very impressive um, you know like I can tell you right now my custom uh, air cooler the cryo rig that I was running previously uh, that was like in winter that would be my idle temps right right there so to be uh, underwater in like or a water cooling build for my desktop PC um, I'm quite impressed with those temps, you know, and uh, like that was that 55.9 degrees Celsius. That was when I was playing um, World of Tanks under load. And when I would play World of Tanks under load with uh, with an air cooler, it would be up around, you know, you, you, you could add at least another eight degrees, even sometimes even 10 degrees Celsius when I had the air cooler installed. Um, so I wanted to just step away from that for a minute and show you that. That there is my AMD R9-390X graphics card. <laughs> it's idling at 68 degrees Celsius, so it's super hot. And when I was playing World of Tanks, it got up to 78 degrees, so <laughs> quite hot there. And I'm like, I'm, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see in this light, but I am literally dripping in sweat. It's so hot. Anyways, um... <clears throat> This is it, all, all installed, the water blocks in there, um, the GT 140mm black ice radiator, if I put my hand behind there, oh yeah, that's pumping out some hot air, <laughs> um, it's, it's all done, you know, it's, 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 a, it's an amazing, uh, it's amazing thing water cooling for desktop PCs, it really is, um, so that's, all installed sitting in there all done um, so I want to give uh, I think I want to I want to give excess PC a huge shout out um, you know the 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 first pump res combo that I got off you guys uh, died after three months, but that didn't hinder me from buying a, another a product of yours because it ran really well for the three months that it was running. Um, so I, I bought this, the the, uh, the the D5 Photon, and I mean it's you know it's 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 working three days with no leaks. Um, awesome job, you know it's a great unit. Uh, bits power, your fittings are absolutely amazing. Um, they're not leaking, they're super easy to install and you know just some great fittings there. Uh, black ice, you know you guys build absolutely awesome radiators. Um, EK, you know the, the water, your water blocks are, are pretty damn awesome. I would have liked to have sticked or, or, or bought an excess PC water block but uh, here in Australia, they just you, you just don't very limited stock and supply of any water cooling gear. So if you're wanting to um, match or like keep the brands the same, it's very hard to do, um, which is a video for another day. But that's my water cooling loop done, guys. Uh, I'm about done in this video. Um, if you if you guys have any suggestions for my like my loop if it's not uh, if it's not quite efficient or if I need to change it around or something like that please take to the comment section and and you know feel free to give me some constructive criticism um, I didn't use hard tubing because like I said this is only my second build and hard tubing doing all the bends and stuff that's that's something that I'm going to get into definitely definitely uh, later I'm just you oh I meant to say I'm just using um, distilled water uh, demineralized water so I meant kind of I mean although I'm got black tubes I kind of want to get a red liquid 
so that you can see it in here and to match the, the, the theme of the build like with my red RAM and the, uh, the red accents on my ASUS uh, motherboard. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys have anything, feel free to take to the comments. Constructive criticism, I don't buy it. Um, but yeah, alright guys, thanks for watching. Till the next one, catch you later.